Philip McIntyre. Linking Words. What I'm going to present is how I would approach teaching linking in connected speech. The content for the lesson is taken from this article, which is about a couple celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary. I've taken sentences from the text in order to identify areas that can be linked in connected speech. I've used this article as the basis for language teaching over a, over a period of three to four days. And so they're very familiar with this particular um, content. Okay, have a look up here. What's this? One, two, three, four. Now you notice when you speak that, when you say that, you're saying it one, two, three, four. Very regular, and all the words are strong. One, two, three, four. Together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, what happens when we put another little word in between these? We don't keep the same rhythm. We don't have one and two and three and four. No. We squeeze the little word and we keep the same rhythm because the numbers are strong. Do you have to hear the and? No, it's not important. So it's very small. So it's like this. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and 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 four. Okay, but all of you are saying and. One and two and three and four. So and becomes too strong. We have to weaken it like this. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Okay. What if we add in another word? What if we put this time and a? Uh. One. We can't say one and a uh, two and a uh, three because we want people to hear one, two, three, four, and we want to keep the same rhythm. So. One and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. Let's have a look at how this works in some of the sentences from the article that we've been reading, that you've now read about Harold and Mabel. What's this letter? D. And this one? M. And this one? B. And this one? B. What do we call these letters? D, L, T, Y, B, M. Consonants. And this one? A, E, I. What sort of letters are they? Vowels. Okay, which words in this sentence are strong? Carol. Because they're the names. So this word is not strong. Yes. This letter, consonant, and this letter, vowel, can join. Haroldum. 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 For some people, they find it easier if we take the D from here and we put it over here. Haroldum. Haroldum. Harold and Mabel. Harold and Mabel. Now look at the second sentence. Can you find another place where there's strong words and weak words? Yes. Is this word strong? No. Very sure. Good. Now you've shown me which words are strong and which syllables are strong and the, the shorter words that link up together. Now we want to see what happens when one word ends in a vowel and another word starts in a vowel. Or syllables. 
Look at this one. How many syllables you told me? Four. 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 Two, three, four. four. Okay. Listen to these two. What's this letter? I. And this letter? E. So we've got two vowels, yes. one at the end of one syllable and one at the beginning of the next syllable. E, S. But we don't stop. We say eeth. 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 What sound do we hear in between? We hear y. Eeth. 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 Like this. Eeth. 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 What sound do you hear? Seventieth. 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 Alright, but remember that sev is strong. So, seventieth. Seventieth. Again. Seventieth. Good. Now, in this sentence, what's this name? Shoo. And what's this word? Is. So, this sound is oo, vowel sound, and this sound is i, vowel sound. Suiz. What sound do you hear? Wa. 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 Like a W. Suiz. Now the last one, where a consonant disappears. Okay. Have a look over here. In here we were looking at the vowels. Down here we want to see if what consonants disappear. Harold and Mabel have been married. Which consonant disappears? H. 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 That's right. That goes away. Mabel of. Mabel of. Mabel of. Harold and Mabel have been married. Harold and Mabel have been married. So today we've looked at four ways of linking. When you go outside this classroom today, listen to people in the street. Listen to how they speak to each other in conversation and hear the linking that they're doing. And then try to repeat what you hear. The linking that you've just seen is one, one aspect only of pronunciation teaching and the features of connected speech. The four linkages that you saw were consonant to vowel, um, eliding a particular consonant, having two similar consonants joining into one and the linking of vowel to vowel. But the most important thing overall for me is to not make the pronunciation segment just a segment, as I said earlier. It must be incorporated into everything that you do, no matter what it is. And therefore the, pr the introduction that you saw is just that, an introduction of the concept. The concept is then reinforced in everything that I teach afterwards.